What's up, Mentorship Freaks? It's the daily dose of the Mentorship Motivator. Today we're talking about effective communication, communicating in general. And, and again, I always want to stress it that these things we go over in these daily live videos, especially something like this, communication, you have to think of it using it in all areas of your life in the context of with your peers, your, your leadership team, with your team that you are leading teaching it to your leadership team to how to communicate with their team, teaching it to your team to how to communicate with each other. Then also just even in your personal life with your family, with your friends, with, with prospects in a sales, a sales meeting, a, a sales consultation, use this stuff in all areas of your life. Don't think it just means for you personally in your leadership abilities and whatever else. So effective communication. First of all, you cannot be a great leader until you learn to communicate effectively. And it doesn't matter what you know or how much you know or even how much you care. It does not matter if you're a poor communicator because you're gonna that message is going to get out there the wrong way. So it doesn't even matter how much you know or care or do or whatever. Good, good communication is going to inspire and motivate people to take action. It's going to hopefully uplift them to take action because effective communication is usually going to be growth-minded communication, right? You're not communicating with the intention of of being negative or putting someone down or whatever. So it should inspire people, motivate them to take action, to elevate their game. And when you're talking to anyone, speak to them as individuals, even in a group or a small group, don't say you guys and all this other stuff. It should be directed straight towards one person. So they're feeling like you're speaking to them directly and personally to them. And it's, you should have the same energy, emotions and empathy and, and control of a conversation, control the communication as you would if there was only one person. That's control of the, the communication in general, but also just control of yourself, the way they're acting, the way you're speaking, as if you were just having a one-on-one -on -one conversation, even if it's with, within a group. And talk, talk to them about what matters to them, not just what matters to you, not just what your goals are for this conversation, because you need, you need them to listen. So you need to talk to them what, what's in it for them, what, what, is, what is coming from their point of view, what matters to them. And speak their language, not just your language. So you might have all these complicated, fancy, you know, trying to look like a smart motherfucker terms that you use in your business or at your level and you're talking to someone else. Don't That's not impressing anyone. That's just fucking confusing them. That's actually poor communication, trying to act like or show your ego or your smarts or whatever. So think of what's in it for them. Don't think of what's in it, not yourself. Think about how can I help that person? Remember that tattoo on their head. Help me. Speak to me. Listen to me. I need to be heard. Whatever the hell you want to see on their forehead. Help that person rather than you're, you worrying about what's in it for you. Let them talk. Listen to them. Pay attention to them. And focus on all of them. So listen to what they're saying. Also listen and realize what they're not saying. But also see what they're saying in their tonality. You're listening in their tonality. You're seeing what they're saying in their body language. Their eye contact. They're, whatever they're fidgety or whatever, what are they doing with their hands or whatever else. And then let them know that you're interested in them, in them and their thoughts, their ideas, their problems, their struggles. And even if you don't agree, you need to let them know you're interested in them. So you can, because the, the foundation of any team or really any relationship with a, a human or a semi-human is going to be connecting emotionally. And that's going to be with them believing in you and trusting you and that you're not just a bullshitter. So you need to connect them emotionally by being real, being yourself, being transparent, letting them know that you're a freaking human and you make mistakes. So be vulnerable, be vulnerable and be yourself, be vulnerable yourself. Let them see that vulnerability. And because no one's going to open up to you if you're just a closed off, standoffish prick. It's just not going to happen. I tried that for years. It didn't work. So it was time to, to, to redirect, right? Course correct and, and figure out the right solution. I've tried that for decades, being that standoffish prick, just sitting there like that, like fuck the world. Shit doesn't get you very far. Got to get over that shit. Show what motivates you. Show, show what motivates you and drives you and what you care about. Like show your vulnerability. That's fine. Show your vulnerability. Drop your freaking ego. Showing what you fear, what you struggle with, what things you've struggled with in the past or maybe what you've overcome. That's how you're going to build that trust and relationship in any communication you're having. On top of that, for any communication, you should be prepared. Be prepared. Like what is the intent of that communication you're having, whether it's a phone call, a text, an email, fucking smoke signal, whatever the hell you're doing, speaking to a group, a one-on-one -on -one meeting with someone in person, what's the intent of it? Be prepared and be intentional on what your goal is for this meeting. 
And your goal should be to progress that level forward, to progress either that person, your team, your teamwork, your relationship should be to progress it forward with all your communication. It should be positive. It should be intentionally positive to progress things forward. Even if you have to have a disciplinary talk with someone, it should be with the intention, with good intentions, positive intentions. Otherwise, after you prepare for it and you realize what your intentions are, if they're not the best intentions, you need to delay that meeting or reevaluate it or re-freaking prepare for that meeting to get ready for it because you can't be going into that with those negative thoughts because it's just going to go downhill. It's going to be a waste of time. It's not going to go anywhere. Make the most of any communication you have so it, it moves things forward, moves the relationship forward, moves the fucking needle forward. And you're going to do that with active listening so they know you're paying attention. You know you're listening to them. And adapt your communication style to their style. Meet them where they are. Meet them, you know, when, you, when we're doing a sales appointment and we're digging someone's pain, we're digging deep. We're digging deep into their pain. They're sitting there crying and, and they're depressed and they realize they need help and they need that whatever. I'm not going to sit there all energetic, enthusiastic. Oh, that sounds awesome. That is excellent. That your kid calls you fatty, made you drop him off two blocks from school. That is awesome. High five. Like, they'll be like, fuck you. They'll have no connection to you. Horrible communication. You need to match them. I'm not doing that whole mirror thing. I don't really necessarily like that thing. They cross arms, you cross arms. They hold their chin. Like, not, no, I'm not saying none of that bullshit. I'm just saying meet them where they are with your, your style at that time. Now, when it comes time for me to show them the solution, that's when I'm going to have that fire and energy to start digging them out of that hole. Start building that ladder one one rung at a time to get them out of that hole that I just dug them in. So match their communication for where they are at that moment in their life, in their converse, in that actual conversation. It could change because they should leave that meeting or that any communication with you, any communication you should have, someone should leave it feeling good or at least feel like it meant something and feel like or, or at least feel like they were heard or that they're, they are important themselves. They should never, no one should leave any type of communication with you, text, phone call, email, anything, in person, presentations, with a feeling like, oh, that was a waste of time, or that didn't get me anywhere. Then it was a fucking waste of time, and you're going to go nowhere. So end every communication fucking strong, on a positive note, that next rung in the ladder, that next step to take you and them and your relationship and the business and the fucking needle to the next level. So end each communication, even something that maybe seems negative. End it on a positive note, no matter what. And again, use this stuff in all areas of life. Obviously, we're talking in a sales sense when you're doing a sales appointment or a sales meeting. Obviously, with your team, when you're leading your team in a leadership position, with your peers, with your friends, with your family, all freaking areas of life, effective communication. Use this and it's going to make it's gonna make a, a difference. Just these basics. I mean, this is refreshers. We, we know this stuff. Just put it all together to spark your mind each morning. So let me know if you have any questions, comments, put them below. I will talk to you later. You are fucking awesome. No excuses.